What I would like to talk about today is Melissa Franklin Sanchez. Melissa was born in 1984 in England, and I've known her probably since she was about 20. <laughs> Um, I met her in Florence at the Florence Academy of Art. She was a graduate student there, having studied the humanities in England, especially ballet. So um, I met her when she was a student of one of my other painters, and um, she has become a mainstay here for her very precious paintings. And they're precious in, se in several ways. First of all, what we're looking at is most of the work that she's um, sent us this year. So we're only going to see eight or ten paintings a year, I believe, from Melissa. Um, but more importantly, she paints on copper and other metal, but mostly copper. And this is something that was done in the 16th century, in the 17th century, uh, when, when copper was extraordinarily precious. Um, and she does it for several reasons. Um, one of the most important things that it does is it warms up the undertones in the paintings. Um, these, uh, I'm just going to show you what technically is going on. This is a gorgeous painting. It's called Fireflies, right? Um, this is Fireflies, and it's about that twilight time when the fireflies are glowing. And um, well, what I've noticed in Melissa, in um, Franklin Sanchez's work, is that she is drawn to that uh, hot and cool combination. And I see that everywhere the lavenders and the pinks. Um, and here you can see on the back is the copper. And you can see how it's obvious when you see a sunset like that with fireflies that the copper undertone was going to make a lot of sense. And I don't know if you can, if there's any copper showing through, there is. I don't know if you can do that with the glare where you see it coming through mm. here. And I think that is really cool. Um, it's, it's effective. She's very effectively using the material. Um, and, you know, so that's the technical, that's technically what's going on here, and uh, we'll get to this painting in a, in a few minutes, but what I really want to say is that this is a group of paintings that were made during the COVID shutdown. Uh, it hit Italy first, so March, April, May, um, all of uh, that part of Italy, she's in Fiesole, north of Florence, was shut down and she was home. Uh, she could see out of her window, uh, well, and this is probably what we're looking at here. This is a beautiful moonrise, and you can see, if you come over here, you can kind of see the copper glowing through. Um, uh, Um, and here is her son, it looks like to me, Raphael, looking out the window. During the shutdown in Italy, there were rainbows everywhere and the signs that said Andra tutto bene, which was used by Ben Fensky in his major, it was the title of his major work this year. And the children were inside with her. Um, this is a very masterful painting, which we are going to talk about um, towards the end. This one? If you look closer. If you look closer. There's a lot of layers to this painting. Um, it is absolutely gorgeous. The children were in shut down with her, and luckily they were quiet while she painted. <laughs> um, one of the things that happened during shutdown, uh, and this is called Blessings, and I think this may have happened with a lot of us during this pandemic, we became very grateful for some of the more simple pleasures. And I know from other artists in, in Italy that they were being brought a box of vegetables. They weren't actually even going out and shopping. And I'm not sure how these got to her kitchen, but they were clearly the brightest things of the day. <laughs> and absolutely gorgeous. And something Megan said is there's, there's, um, there's a delicacy in, of observation that Melissa brings to the work. And she also obviously has a deftness of hand so the combination of what brings her eye delight and her ability to share that with us makes these paintings, again, I believe, very precious. Um, then, again, we're, she's drawn to that twilight time. This is actually summer nights. This is, um, uh, you can see the stars coming through. And this one, the fireflies, which I talked about earlier. 
this is really the palette that I would say is signature to Melissa Franklin Sanchez. Um, another very beautiful scene with little fireflies glowing. Um, and then you've got uh, this painting, which is called Live. Mm -hmm. um, and this relates back to this painting. I think another theme during the COVID shutdown with a lot of my painters was that they were uh, hemmed in. They weren't allowed to travel. They weren't allowed to go about their normal business. And what I discovered is some of them made some changes in the way they were making paintings. They experimented. And I would say this is one of the most interesting results of the COVID shutdown. What Melissa did here is she put a, a mirror at the end of the room, and we have a silhouette of her painting, which is very beautiful. At the, at the, that's the focal point here. Um, you also see her ballet shoes, another element from her life. Um, this is a, a palette that's hanging. And then the rest of the room kind of melts away. But interestingly, she, had, she, she painted in these bubbles as if the, it was a, a dream. And, I, and then she leaves the raw copper with a little bit of elements of, of the interior still indicated with a slight drawing. And I think this is a fabulous painting. It, a, it, there's so much room for my imagination to meet her very um, delicate sensibility. And I just, I find this incredible. And what I want to then swap you from this view She's got a, a big light behind her, and that's the window that this um, lie, her son, is looking out. Oh, actually, that's probably their daughter. Yeah, looks like Iris. <laughs> that's Iris. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I can't believe that she's gotten so big. I haven't seen her in a year and a half. Uh, yeah. Um, anyhow, I love the idea of these bubbles linking up with these bubbles. And I'm not sure if she intended that. I have chills right now. But I think that that is... Um, a beautiful combination of the interior life of an artist doing a self-portrait and then the expansion of life um, and that's what she calls it live um, you know with the bubbles passing out the window it's it's very dreamlike and absolutely gorgeous and the desire when you're so well trained and classically trained the desire would be to paint every uh, dot every I and cross every T uh, in describing everything, and she's failed, she's held herself back from that, which gives it even more life and air. So I would say that we've seen a big and interesting turn and step forward with the work of Melissa Franklin Sanchez, just in these, these smaller works. But when we get to this painting, um, and this is called If You Look Closer, I think that this is a very masterful interior. Um, I uh, actually, Melissa wrote to us, I'm going to have to grab my glasses, hold on one sec. During our preparation for this show, which we put on the calendar back in April when we canceled the show that was supposed to be for April, we moved it to October, and we asked a few select artists to tell us, um, not to tell us, to paint, um, to show us what they're painting while they're shut down, and to write back, to write to us and tell us what was going on in their hearts and in their heads. And um, this painting is, was the major work that Melissa was working on during the shutdown. Um, and I, she has some amazing comments here. Um, I just wanna see. Um, the thing that's most interesting to me is she's got her two children you know, here under the table. But frankly, from an art perspective, the negative space is what, is what I'm drawn to. I am drawn to all the different colors she sees in that white wall. I'm drawn to all of the very color and light that's on the floor here. Um, she's got some very subtle hints that this is somewhat of a mystical setting. She's got little dashes of light here. Um, she says, you know, they are, are they dust particles or are they fireflies or is it magic fairy dust coming from the dreams of the children who are playing in their own private world under there. Um, she has a landscape from one of her favorite places in the world on the table here. And this, she said, doesn't, it's not a visual memory when she looks at that. She actually smells the sea air when she put, um, sees that picture. This is a drawing that her son did during the break, during the shutdown. And it's the, he had a story about a boat that wanted to fly to the moon. And in 
um, in he had a dream that a storm came and, and the boat achieved its goal. And that's what that drawing is about. But the interesting thing is she's hidden in here. I'm going to tell you what it said. Or do you know what it said? Uh, wait a minute. Sorry, guys. I had it all marked up. Okay, here it is. Um, etched into the copper on this painting is a secret message written in reverse that can be read with a mirror. It reads... What do you see, and is it magic? And those, I actually found them. You'll have to come to the gallery to look, the, look for them. I found them today when another cl a client came in who loves Melissa's work, and we were, I read this to her, and then we found the, the etchings. And it, they're actually, I'll give you a tip, a hint, they're not in the same place. So you can come in and find what do you see, dot, 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 and somewhere else in the painting, is it magic? And I want to close, I, this is an absolutely beautiful, not only um, uh, are the colors and the design, I mean, I was going to say something about the design, the, the, the negative space, the, all the different planes, the fact that she's got a candle lit, and this is a religious icon, but it's just kind of left very, very subtly indicated. It's not defined. Um, there's a key on the floor here. There's a marble. There's, there's two more marbles, and then there's these little um, gorgeous little sparkles. And I'm going to close this with a comment that I lifted from Melissa's. She wrote quite a bit, and we shared it in our, a lot of what she wrote. We cleaned it up so it wasn't just phrases, and shared it in our press release. So you can go to the website and see that at gunninggallery.com or the Instagram. Do we have? No, we don't have our press release on the Instagram. But here's the quote, and I'd like to finish with this. Um, this is Melissa Franklin Sanchez when we asked her about the shutdown and these COVID paintings, and I think she's referring to this. I wonder about the way we see things and perceive reality. What is real? Is it that, is it what you see? Is it what you feel? Or is it what you remember or what you believe? Is it magical or just a deep understanding or connection? with something, someplace, or someone. And I just, I just love the mis mystery in that. And I love the way that Melissa has used her materials to visually demonstrate and ask these questions. And I, I invite you to come see these paintings because they are delicious and precious. And I guess that's it.